Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, my name is Zen. I do sewing tutorials, fashion illustration, daily vlogs, and a bit of travel vlogs. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on a new video. In today's video, babawasan natin yung train ng dress ng client ko. So it's a wedding dress and medyo nakabaan siya dun sa last fitting namin. So babawasan natin siya and also I'll be discussing different kinds of length ng train. So let's get started! This is the train of my client's dress. I think nasa halos one yard ang leg ng train. We'll downsize it to a sweep style of train and that's about 6 inches. In general, there are four distinct types of wedding trains. Meron tayong sweep, wato, chapel, and cathedral. Sweep train is the shortest one of all, about 6 inches, making it an excellent choice for an outdoor or casual wedding. After matching all the seams ng cell fabric sa lining natin, I am using a curing air erasable pen para i-mark natin yung shape and length ng bagong train natin. Yung half part lang ng train ng imamark ko ngayon. So freehand ko lang siyang ginagawa dahil I find it easier for me kung if freehand ko siya instead of using a pattern. Ang next nating style ng train is Wato. The detachable Wato train is an unconventional take on the traditional wedding dress train and can be considered na combination ito ng veil and a train na naka-attach sa my shoulder or upper back of the bodice para mag-create ng whimsical look without the commitment of an actual train. After marking, ipipin in place ko muna yung cell fabric and yung lining bago ko siya ikakat. Again, I am reminding you guys half lang muna ang aking ikakat dito. Yung pang third type natin na train which is the chapel train is the most popular train of all four. It measures approximately 5 feet long then it's from the waist and it gives the dress some formality without being too over the top. After cutting yung half ng train, tutupiin ko siya sa may center back. Then after ko siyang tupiin, magiging guide ko yung pinagupitan ko ng train para dun sa kabilang half ng train. Don't forget guys to match yung seam ng lining tsaka sa self fabric katulad ng pinapakita ko dito sa video then pin in place. After pinning in place, we're now ready to cut off the excess string. Yung last type natin na train is cathedral. Trails about 6 or 7 feet from the waist and ito yung pinaka formal one. It adds a dramatic look to any gown and enhances the fairy tale feel of ball gown wedding dresses. May iba pang type ng train, meron pa yung tinatawag nilang court and yung monarch or royal which is nasa 8 to 12 feet ang haba. Yung na-mention ko kasi na apat na style, usually ito kasi yung mga nakikita natin madalas sa kasal. After cutting, Che-check natin muna siya sa ating dress form. Just to double check yung length ng train and kung pantay ba yung pagkakagupit natin. Which train is right para sa bride? So para maasagot natin yung question na yan, you'll have to take into account a few things. First is yung setting, then the bustle, and yung body type. So if you are planning a smaller celebration, Let's say, sabihin natin sa backyard ng parents mo or a garden wedding or beach wedding, then a cathedral train would be too much. Yung perfect dito is yung sweep train. But if you're getting hitched sa mga malalaking church, then you can get away with a longer, more elaborate train. Next thing to consider is the bustle, which pulls the back of your dress so you don't step over it. Importante ito because if you opt for a cathedral chapel train, you'll definitely need one added to your dress so you can move freely during the reception. And finally, yung body type. Well, malamang karamihan sa mga designers will agree that most trains look good on anyone. But for me and sa mga base sa mga napag, nababasa ko, if you are per shape, you may want to avoid 
shorter or swift trains and if you have wider shoulders then stay away from Watto trains. This is the final look after natin siyang bawasan. Ang finishing na gagawin ko para sa hem is maglalagay ako ng horse hair. Thank you guys for watching and I hope nakatulong tong tutorial na ito. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my channel with all of your friends. And I'll see you next time. Bye!